Uh, so Michael Brown, Solar Ray. Uh, I'm tired of all the marketing BS out there about string inverters. You, this Christmas tree effect and stuff. And kind of the boiling point today was I actually saw uh, a, a business that has a grant from the Department of Energy spewing this BS, which is completely false, and I'm going to prove it to you today. I've got more experience and more accreditations and more training than these guys, all of them put together. And that's not the key. The key is, is I actually test stuff. I actually have a meter and I actually use it. And I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. So let's go take a look. I seem frustrated, don't I? I've had a bad morning. Okay. So uh, because of this, we went back in, we've done a lot of uh, remote location solar systems uh, for events and stuff in Central Florida, uh, many times for a lot of organizations, including the city of Orlando and the local utilities, and also uh, events such as the VegFest and Earth Day and things like that. Not local, not lately, because of all the nepotism and politics in this ridiculous industry now. But anyways, so. Here's four industry standard modules, 60 cell uh, standard, industry standard modules, uh, open circuits somewhere around 36, uh, uh, 34, but they're hot, it's Florida, it's the middle of summer, and they've been sitting in the sun. Okay, so we're not gonna get full uh, voltage out of these things. So we just took these right off of the rack. These are used modules, there's nothing wrong with them. I'll do this again if, if you guys wanna comment on this and say, oh, you're using X, Y, Z, and it's new, new, new. I'll do it again, no problem, get the same result. Um, so here's what we got. We got uh, four industry standard modules, and what we're gonna do right now is, do you, you see those? Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you what we got as far as power goes. Okay, so we modified these so I don't gotta have any tools uh, in order to kind of show you a couple things real quick. Um, that, because we've already tested these to make sure they're operating so that you can kind of see what's going on, right? So, in fact, let's put this over here. So we got it on uh, voltage for DC. That's what these lines show right here, voltage for DC. A lot of these guys that say that they know what they're talking about, these talking heads, these pontificators, these uh, narcissistic SOBs um, out there have never done this, okay? So we should be right around 33, 34, 32.4, okay? And uh, I can go down the line. If you uh, have questions or comments or you wanna say, rah, 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 I'll redo this. But it's very hot out here and I had to take an order that I shouldn't have. So I'm hurrying up, okay? So, uh, so we wanna put these in series. That means uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, right? So we wanna put these in series. So we're positive, negative. Okay, and these have been modified so that I can just quick connect them, okay? And so now what we have is uh, a circuit, and you can kind of look at that here, walk. Uh, Vladimir, my uh, Russian colluder is helping me uh, film. So this is exactly how it's done. And then we have a home run cable so that I can short circuit these things and I can, so we can also test current. Because then, you know, for those of you that say, rah, 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 well, anyways, so. Here we go. So um, we have <coughs> four of these, um, just over 30 volts. So we should be a little bit better than 120 volts. Uh, so let's connect this thing. Okay, what do we, go? oh shit. So, okay, sorry about that. Am I cussing on camera? Okay, here we go. I'll, I'll be able to edit. All right. Now, I'm not even caring about uh, polarity on this because the meter reads it's just going to be whether it's positive or negative. So I'm just quickly doing this so I can get out of here. OK, so what do we have? 128. See, just as predicted. OK, so that's uh, four modules times just over uh, 30 volts a piece uh, open circuit current. And the reason why it's lower than what you're going to see on a data sheet is because there's what's called a temperature coefficient, which means if it gets hotter, you get less power and they're hot because they've been out in the sun for probably about an hour or better. So these things are running probably, um, I'd say somewhere in the 150 to 160 degree range. Nothing you'd want to keep your hand on. Um, and long term, you could probably poach an egg. Okay, so that's what we got there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put these, or actually what we're going to do 
is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna curl this up over here and so that you can see, let's make sure we get a reading on that meter. So you can see, so we're getting these on here. Okay, do we have that 120 plus? Okay, 128, right? Okay, so let's do this. Here, follow me, Vladimir. So shading, what do you think shades? You think cardboard and placard shade? Okay, so let's try something small. Let's say you got a little bit of shade, okay? Now, if there's more shade on an array than this, I would, ugh, crap. Here, stay where you are and you can see me struggle with this. Okay, so I would almost recommend not putting a solar module there, but because I don't like shading at all. Okay, so we were at 100 and what, 124 to 128. Okay, so let's see. Oh my God, 128. Here, let me put these correct so you can kind of see this so you're not, so the pontificators and the people say, Ooh, people that have never used a meter don't understand how electronics work. Okay, so now it's a positive number, okay? So 127. Now that's with that shading, right? Now that's partial shading on one module, okay? So let's do this. Let's shade the whole module. And what you're gonna see is gonna be very surprising to you. Okay, and which, because what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that we're not gonna lose the power of an entire module. Not voltage-wise, anyways, okay? So what did we drop? We dropped uh, only about 14, 13, 14 volts. Now why is that, you say? Oh, the reason is, is because there's ambient light. There's ambient light and uh, there's reflective light both off the surface, even though you wouldn't think so. There is, and then it's actually, you get some ambient light in the back of the cell. And also, if it's white on the back sheet, you actually get some ambient light reflecting and refracting and bouncing through the glass, okay? So that's the reason. And also, because you have a small amount of potential energy on this module, it acts as a conductor, a very good conductor, okay? So what do you think is gonna happen to this module if it's on a microinverter or a power conditioner? it will shut down. The entire module will shut down. Now, as you see, voltage-wise, we less, lost less than half of the potential of this module. Uh, you wanna put it on another one? Let's put it on another one, okay? Put it on that one, okay? And then I'll put it on any one of them, and we can repeat this process if we've got a bunch of naysayers out there and blah, 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 BS, okay? So, and the reason for that right now is because we just had a little bit of haze come over, okay? That it's, that it's three volts less. But still, more than half of this module, you have the potential energy. So the other question is, and the reason why we use this meter, is uh, um, what we're gonna do, okay, so I don't need to hold that. Okay, so let's take that off of there. Now we'll turn that off. Let me reconfigure this. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna short circuit this thing so that we can see what kind of current we have, okay? So these are standard 60 cell modules. So now, Vladimir, you're gonna kinda have to be a little creative on your... So now we go up here to amperage, okay, on DC. You see those double lines, those double solid lines? That's direct current, okay? So we go up here and then we clamp. So we have 7.7 .7 amps. And as you can see, I'm absolutely correctly using this meter. Oh, let's do this first. Okay. Let's do that. As you can see, I had shading on there and I still have shading on there. Oh, and that's another thing is you remember, maybe that's where my three volts went. <laughs> okay. Maybe it wasn't the haze. Maybe it was having additional shading beyond the one solid module. Okay, so here we're gonna go, and this is the correct way to use an amp meter, and that is to center it, non-touching, so 7.8 amps, 7.6, 7.9, okay? And as you see, I'm actually using the Hall's effect. I'm in the center of my meter, okay? So, 7.2, we don't have any major clouds or major wind coming over, so let's 
do this. Okay, now we're shading a module. Again, a whole module. And I'll do another one, the one next to it, the one that we haven't shaded yet. I'll do two of them if you want me to. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm having not the greatest day in the world. Okay, there we go. That's some real shade, right? Okay, so let's go back over here. And stick this sucker on here. Is that my home run? Or is that my home run? Which one's my home run? This one's my home run. Where were we at? Seven? Dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. So what did we change? How much did we change? Okay, we're gonna break that math down for you here uh, shortly, and we're gonna show you the absolute difference uh, because on a microinverter or a power conditioner, once the, 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 uh, the uh, voltage of the module falls out of range, the operating range, which is very small for a microinverter or a power conditioner. Huh? There and can we do one more time just to see? Uh, I'm not sure if we were able to see the number. Okay. That's my colluder. Okay, so if you can see here, uh, so let's go here. Seven point nine eight. And that's with the shade, right? And all these, okay, so we didn't pull anything. No fading out, no anything else like that. Take a look at the wires. There's no hidden, no magic, no anything else like that. This is not Johnny Carson or the late night show. This is the way it is, okay? So um, you tell me. Uh, if you shade one of these modules, the whole string go down? No. In fact, you lose less power on a stringed system if you shade one module, completely shade one module, than you do if you lose an entire module on a microinverter or a power conditioner system. That's a fact. 